Hello, Bloodhound here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, here we go. Let's continue our game. I've done the thing so we are not broke our legs and bleeding to death exactly anymore. Of of so, yeah. Very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. They're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. Hard enough to Probably not. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel. Uh, okay. Hail on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. That's no two. Movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Did I? As if you were I've got it on. Draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Okay. Thanks for that. He is there. Is it okay if I shoot him? Uh, you are not in a good... Well, it'd be something, but you just, it, you're in the way, and I don't want to stab you, surprisingly. Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, just give up. No, you're not the boss of me. Yeah, 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 how do you like those apples? Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectation. I hit the thing like Dude, twice. Why are you wasting your time, Sivanov? Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Ooh. Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. <laughs> we are so lost. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have to hit the thing. Where the bow? So he's got none. I got one! Two! Oh! Bitch, please! Come on. Ooh, that wasn't so good. <sighs> what can I say, mate? I'm too good. Give me that bow. Oh, he got an A. He oh. Need to land this perfect way. <laughs> no! Oh! I was so close! Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, Blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more reminding? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, Blacksmith? If we must... Excellent, then let's go. Uh. 
Jesus. Go on. Ah, I didn't block that. No, I had my swing first. Oh, I... No. Oh, the stabs. Not fair. I'd lag. Oh my god. I just don't have the stamina for this. Take that. Uh, camera, please. Nope. Did I win? Did I lose? I can't tell. I... Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge. Despite your limitations. Thank you. So. Godspeed, Blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. Oof, we're close. Thanks for the fight. <laughs> I managed to f remember how to sword fight. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Can, can I ask him about? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. <laughs> Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now, go to the Rad House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. All right. There we go. How far away is this thing? That's all the way over here. Um, nah, we, we run. It's fine. Do we get guard armor? That'd be cool. Instead of just a, sort of the hobo thing we have. I guess it's this place. Mushrooms. Is it you? You Valus? It's probably upstairs. Look at this window. Mm. Open. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. Hello.
Hello? Guy? No, what? No. What? Come back. Okay, here we go. Good day to you. Hey there. Who could teach me how to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Hmm. That's cool. Um, tell me about Raddy. What's this guy? Well, young Sir Hans is our governor, but Sir Hanush is his guardian till he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. Yeah, fine. Thank you. What do you think of the rat? How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes and the countryside ain't safe. But they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Mm. Right. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Okay. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Redzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Redzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Yep. Then you sh <laughs> You can count on me, Bailiff. No, we will... You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yep. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav, the watchman, Nightingale, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. All right, and sure. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Where's the armory? Okay. Let's go to the armory. In here, I guess. Oh, that's convenient. Alright, let's just have a look at the map. Okay, it's all the way to the other end of the town. Let's go up there then. Huh. Trade. Fish. Pretzels? I wonder if they'll buy those pretzels I have. Tavern? Get this armory stuff first. Is it here? No, it's still the tavern. Cobbler. I didn't think that would be it. Hello. <laughs> you want to sit down, but you can't. Because they've taken it all. Hmm. 
Well, since you're standing up. I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes. I need equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not starve it. All right, cool. More stuff. Let's put a new hat. Where is this armor? Cool. And how's that compared to my shit warhorse one? Warhorse one's better. Um, that's better. And we get a club. Was it? Great, a bludgeon. Uh, we'll use the club because we don't want to kill people. There we go, it's starting to look good, except for the hobo-ness of our clothes, but we'll have to go get this stuff repaired at some point. Leather worker or something. Alright. Thank you. Alright, now where do we have to go? B, what was this? Nightingale at that time. That guy still has his quest tipster. Hmm. Let's go check out what the. Uh, what time is it? It'd be around that. How do I see time? Not that button. This button. Uh, no. Wait, hang on. Didn't we get a level somewhere? Current level perk points. We've got a perk point. Our speech is level 3. Speed, noise. What does strength do? Can we just bring up a tip, tool tip? E? So that's something I have. I can do first aid. Ah, oh. so I can learn. I see. Okay. Dodger. Q. Uh. I get ya. So I can learn some of these things. Maybe we'll just wait, because none of this stuff that I really feel is... Eh. It's just not that great. <laughs> it's really not. Alright. Let's go see this guy and see what he's about. Armorer. That might be useful. No. Let's just, let's just look at the sun. Where's that at? There. 
East. If we're in Europe, sun. I think sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east anyway, isn't it? Yes, I'm. Yeah. So that would put that at somewhere. Butcher. It'd probably be about 10 o'clock ish, 11. We could probably. Like, if the guy's here. Say he was in the church. Or he's just around the church. So let's just. Let's do a lap. That, that's probably not you. And let the perpetual light shine upon them. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Hey there, what's up? What's up with you? How does life in Ratai suit you? It'd be fine if we didn't have to sleep in hovels and beg for arms. And the bailiff is always on our backs, the bastard. But what can we do? We've got nowhere else to go. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats, but it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Yes, they were. Not you, old mate. Priest. Okay, so I'm guessing. Nest? Where was that nest? I want to eat it. Oh. I'm guessing it's still too early. Alright, so it's just turning 11 o'clock. Which means... Hey, Henry's come to see us. Hey, what's up, Pobble Man? Vagabond? That's not so good. Not a good name for you. You're the... Swordsmith? What are you? Shop guard? Where's the armor? That's everything. Some change for you here. Where? Alright, well, let's go see if. Old mate Nightingale's here. Is it you? Hey. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yes, yes I am. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and is nice. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most <laughs> men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I want to serve. I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Oh, but it's a mission. Don't forget, 
I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, uh, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Hmm. I guess not. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? Yeah, it is pretty good. The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. <laughs> Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Mm -hmm. Just one sec, though, mate. Give me one sec. Quest log. Courtship. Go and see her before noon. That's in like an hour. I don't have time for that. What's going on? This guy. What's up? Good health to you. Training? Repairs? Back? What are you, Beggar Jane? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a wow, ruckus! Wow, what a dick! About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. How is she bothering you? What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Hmm. Go yourself a Christian. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. Well then... From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. But... What would you know about it? Uh, I'll give her some money. Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Yeah. Don't know if that was a... Right choice there. 
road. Not tonight. My cousin is visiting. All right, tomorrow night then. Make sure you have some fun. Your old neighbors are living Greetings, here now. Henry. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Uh, yeah, well, I wasn't going to make that guy pay. Like, that's stupid. But I should have said... I should have changed. Yeah. No, oh, well, whatever. I gave her money today. This square here, it looks much better during the market. Oh, yeah. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. What if this, like, runs in real time? So I can dick around as long as I don't fast travel. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. No. Oh. There's one alehouse here on the market square, and the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Mm, see. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Okay, yep. We're definitely moving along. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. No, I don't. Where? Where are we talking? Oh, this guy. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Don't really want beggars in your frickin' military installation. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalix. Ah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dying of old age is pretty similar to getting ridden down. We're going through this little gate. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town, continues along the Sassau River, all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. 
Neuhoff, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Yeah, no, I came here. Get my stuff. God save you, Henry. Thanks, Adam. Wow, this is lovely tour. Where's Moimir, anyway? Well, isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it, and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Um, right, okay. You lazy bastard. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <sighs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Well, that worked, yeah. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have <laughs> a drink. We'll, on the other hand, we get to sit. Fool got me all worked up. Yeah, me too. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Uh, of? Why not? Are we going to play dice or something? I don't know what this means. I don't know how to play. Help. Oh, God. Huh? Uh, one's worth 100 points. Three of a kind. I don't, I don't know. Um. I, I don't understand. Holes? Oh, I got, there's two sixes here. Um, I think, what's a six worth? Um. And four or more 
of a kind is worth a lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Back. Give up. Ah. Oh. I meant to just. I no. I fuck that. Oh well. Whatever. Just one more thing, and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and. Closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do okay. that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. I got a torch. Do I have it on? That's fine. I'm just having a walk around. Wait. I ring the bell. Well, how about these people? All right, let's go ring the bell. I'm glad to see you. I was afraid something might have happened to you in the attack on Scarlet's. Ah, now, what would happen to me? You're probably dead. Here, ring a bell. I think all these people here don't have torches. Where's this bell at? Bell? It's up there. <laughs> hmm. Well, no, not in here. Surely, is it upstairs? No, I'm in someone's room. Ooh. Aha, bell. That only rang once. Go to the tavern, say, Oi, close your shit. Probably have to kick out a drunk or something, or they're like, Oh no, we're not closing because we hate you. God save you, eh? sir. Alright, whatevs. There we get this tavern. Here we go. And the cannon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to... 
pigs and pallets. Oh, I'll <laughs> save the bacon. <laughs> so Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Join us. But you're not in the village now. Cross his lordship, jumper like a bear, got it. Bailiff, piss me off. Oh, but oh. is he here? What? Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be. Hey, I didn't get to pick it. I don't want to fight. <sighs> I couldn't even use my words. I have to beat. Punch this guy. It. Yeah. What? Where you, where you going? Hey, I was kicking. No. Why am I fist fighting a noble? Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is <laughs> happening here? Well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. So, Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people. And not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Oh, well. <laughs> Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of no baby. Yeah, yeah, it's really true. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> All right, looks like we're waiting. All right, game saved. So we will end it here. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.